Well, let me now talk to somebody who's been tracking this almost obsessively for the last few weeks. Nathan Lanz, uh, AI and chat GPT expert and analyst. Nathan, always good to talk to you to try and figure out what's happening in the world of AI. But before I figure out what's happening in the world of AI, what's happening in the world of open AI? What was behind this drama? <laughs> what was it all about? Sam Altman is now tweeting that he's sitting and having a nice Thanksgiving day with Adam D'Angelo. So clearly it's not yeah. a feud between them. Um, yeah. What, what was it all about? Yeah, from you know what I've heard, I mean, it's kind of crazy how this all started. Like, like two days before all of this happened with Sam Altman being fired, I started hearing rumors from friends in San Francisco that uh, OpenAI was like the employees inside of OpenAI were very optimistic about their progress with GPT-5 and and other uh, technologies they're working on. Um, and so I, I thought it was kind of interesting that as soon as I heard those rumors start spreading in San Francisco, uh, this happened like probably two days later. Uh, and, and now it's starting to come out that uh, it, it seems like what happened, is, as far as I can tell, was that uh, Heather Toner, which is a board member of uh, OpenAI, uh, and also a pretty well-known uh, uh, effective altruist, uh, she had wrote a paper recently, maybe two months ago, where even though she's on the board of OpenAI, she had actually criticized OpenAI and said that they were developing too fast. Um, and so my understanding is that Sam Altman didn't take that very well, which is I think a lot of CEOs wouldn't, um, and that he had confronted her about it and that the conversation didn't go that great. Um, and I think if you combine that with the fact that it seems that uh, OpenAI recently made some major uh, breakthroughs, um, that I think that combination caused some issues where the people on the board who are more uh, conservative and fo focused on safety um, you know, started to get a little bit concerned. Um, it's, it's not clear what all else happened. You know, there's rumors that Sam Altman was, you know, working on other projects, and there was some anger there. It's, it's, you know, so I don't think we really completely know. But as best but as I, I can let me, tell, let me come back. Let me come yeah. back to that development then, because that's yeah. that's yeah. for the rest of the world. That's the scary part, right? If OpenAI is developing some technology inside it, Q Star or whatever it's called, and then. Yeah. There's concern within OpenAI that, oh my God, we are going too fast and we need to be more careful and the non-profit and we must develop AI in a more safe manner for humanity. And then they are pushed aside by people who are saying, oh, we must go ahead and do it for profit. Mm. That's when the rest of the world starts to get scared. Is that how it's actually yeah. gone down or am I, or is this an exaggeration? Yeah, yeah, you know, I think that's probably like a slight simplification. Like on, on Twitter, a lot of people were saying this is like kind of a, a battle between uh, doomers and EAC, which is like effective accelerationism, which I, I kind of consider myself part of. Um, you know, people who want to develop AI as fast as possible. Um, I don't think it's that simple because my understanding is Sam Altman and a lot of the other team, I would say they're kind of in the middle. They're like, they're wanting to be safe about how you develop AI. They're not like, hey, let's not test anything. Let's not, you know, let's be reckless. I, as far as I can tell, that's not them. So I, I think it's more of a battle between like people kind of in the middle who are like, hey, we want to develop AI, but let's be safe about it versus people who are like, anything you build, if it starts acting like kind so, of like AGI, that's scary, you know, and, whatever, and we want to kill, kill that. But Nathan, whatever we're seeing about Q star, which is what a lot of the buzz yeah. has been about, it's yeah. not exactly AGI. It may be a step in that direction, but essentially, yeah. it's a it's it's a new technique which is being which is seems to be working well. Maybe a path yeah. towards AGI, but it's not that yeah. you actually got a sentient machine in the basement somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely. I mean, as far as I can tell, there's no one who thinks, oh, this is AGI. But they but they do believe, um, or at least this is what I've heard, that uh, you know that it, it, it is better at logic. And, and and so, you know, the last time I was on here, I talked about agents and that was a big thing that everybody was excited about. And then quite frankly, agents have not really went anywhere yet. And and the main reason is because, yeah, uh, you know, LLMs can predict what somebody's going to say next, but they're not that good at logic yet. And so, so if you were to dramatically improve the logic and combine that with an LLM, you really would start to have agents that could do many things that humans do. All right, Nathan Lands, always a pleasure talking to you. Let's see what happens. Great. As, as QSAR yeah. develops, we'll, we'll get you back in here to tell us about it. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining Bye. us.